NHL regular season recap, night 60, eight games on a Sunday, which is a nice change. The first of which is the Blue Jackets taking on the Panthers. And this game ended up being kind of wild, man. Some craziness between Nick Cousins and Eric and Branson uh, made this game way more entertaining than it otherwise probably would have been. Uh, but penalties and fights and probably suspensions aside, a good game from Alex Barkov with a goal and two assists. Gustav Forsling also with a goal and an assist. Uh, Matt Kachuk and Etulo Serenin with empty net goals in this one, as well as Carter Verhage with the second goal for the Panthers. Uh, for the Blue Jackets, it's Chinnikov and Voronkov with their two goals, each of their six of the season. Uh, Jet Gris, pretty good in this one, making his case to be the backup goalie in Columbus. 31 of 34 stops for him. For Stolar, 17 of 19 in the 5-2 winning effort. The Devils visiting the Edmonton Oilers, and this ended up being a pretty solid game from Edmonton. They win by a final score of 4-1. to Goals for them from Ryan Bouchard, McDavid, and an empty netter from Evander Kane. For the Devils, Jasper Bratt's 12th of the year is the only goal. Uh, Kirschman played pretty good, sparing the one goal where he gets kind of caught behind the net. You'd like him to just kind of stay put there. The puck's kind of rolling slowly through the trapezoid. Nonetheless, McDavid, the beneficiary there. Otherwise, a good game from Schmid. Uh, Calvin Pickard stopping 26-27. to Obviously, the better of the two goalies in this one uh, in what was otherwise a pretty evenly matched game, but nonetheless, a 4-1 final for Edmonton, who moves just a game below real 500 and reaches NHL 500. The Predators taking on the Montreal Canadiens, and Colton Sissons is the first star in this one. He scores in the first on the power play, and then again, seven minutes into the second to make it 2-0 Preds. Jake Evans would tie it with about 35 seconds to play in the second, but uh, aside from that, this game was one of those good old goalie battles. UC Saro stopping 36-37, a banger of a game for men. Uh, Jake Allen, though, very, very good as well, stopping 30-32, of 32, so both goaltenders, again, very strong in this one, but UC Saros just a bit better. Colton Sissons with a very strong performance for the Preds. It's a 2-1 final. The Capitals taking on the Chicago Blackhawks, and this team driving me nuts because despite playing the Blackhawks, they still get outshot 34-27, and despite that, they still find a way to win. Uh, Darcy Kemper, very good in this one, stopping 32 of 34. Soderblom for the Hawks, stopping just 23 of 27, so a bit of a rough night for him. Uh, Anthony Manta continues to have a surprisingly strong season. He got the first goal for the Caps in this one, then Dylan Strom, Nick Dowd, and a second from Nick Dowd in the third. Philip Kershev actually opened the scoring in this one in the second period, and Connor Murphy gets his first of the season, which is two to play, but not enough for the Hawks. It's a 4-2 Capitals final. Uh, big game here from Nicky D gets us the W. The LA Kings visiting the New York Rangers in what was one of the more highly anticipated games this week, and despite being on the road, the Kings lose their second consecutive road game. Uh, this is a final of 4-1 to for the Rangers. Jonathan Quick with a little bit of revenge against his former team. You love to see it. 25 saves on 26 shots for him. For the Kings, Phoenix Copley gets the start. He gives up 4 on 27. Once again, reinforcing that Cam Talbot deserves to play the remainder of the games throughout the year. Fatigue is not an issue. Screw it. Let him go. Just give him the whole leash. It doesn't matter. Uh, goal scoring. Mika Zibanejad opens it. Jimmy VC with the second, making it 2 nothing going into the third. Philip Deneau makes it a 2-1 game before Johnny Brodzinski, who was on the power play, apparently, uh, and Will Cooley make it a 4-1 game, and that is how the score would stand. Three assists from Vinny Trocek, who, despite not getting a goal, had a very, very good game. A big win for the Rangers against one of the other top teams in the league. The Jets taking on the Ducks in what was a pretty quiet offensive game, at least for the first 40 minutes. Alex Kalorn scoring the only goal in the first two periods with about four to play in the second on the power play. Uh, in the third, though, all hell breaks loose offensively. Adam Henrique makes it a 2-0 game for the Ducks, just a minute and 15 in, but less than a minute later, Nino Niederreiter cuts the lead in half, making it 2-1. A few minutes beyond that, Morgan Barron ties it, making it 2-2, and then we have more quietness offensively for about 13 minutes when Gabe Velarde scores with less than two minutes to play his first of the year, making it a 3-2 lead for the Jets, who have come all the way back from down to nothing. Mark Shifley nets the empty meter with just 30 seconds to play. This is going to leave a sour taste in the mouths of the Ducks players and their fans. Uh, can't really give up a 2-0 lead, especially not in the third, but that's exactly what happens tonight. It's a 4-2 win for the Jets. Connor Hellebuck stops 25 of 27. John Gibson stopping 27 of 30. Again, a tough loss for the Ducks, but a big win for the Jets. The Minnesota Wild taking on the Seattle Kraken, and what have I been saying about this Seattle team, man? They just cannot find wins when they need them. 
The offense is not there for them. They get a good game from their goaltender, Joey Decord, tonight, but just not enough because Philip Gustafson has a 24-save shutout. Uh, for the goals, Matt Boldy with his seventh of the season. He's quietly been playing a bit better since his rough start to begin the year. Uh, Marco Rossi makes it a 2-0 game in the third. We had nothing in the second. Uh, and then with just four seconds to play, Joel Eriksson makes it a 3-0 final, a bit of a stat patter for him there. Um, a good game from Gustafson, but the Kraken really just can't score, man. This is one of the hardest teams to watch offensively in the entire league, and even despite getting good goaltending for a change, they cannot find a W. It's 3 nothing for the Wild. The final game of the night, the Sharks taking on the Vegas Golden Knights, and they almost got away with some more third-period heroics here. Uh, they do open the scoring just 30 seconds into the game, Mario Ferraro with his first of the year. In the second period, Marcia so and Stevenson make it 2-1 Vegas. Braden McNabb scores to make it 3-1 in the third, but Hoffman makes it a one-goal game. Marcia so once again extends the lead to two, and then Kalen Addison and Mike Hoffman again tie it up with just 40 seconds left to force overtime. Nothing going in the overtime, and in the shootout, Jack Eichel with the game winner. Marcia so also had one as well. Uh, of note, Eichel extended his point streak to seven games, and Yuri Patera with his uh, season debut and, of course, first NHL win of the season. So a pretty solid game from the Sharks all around. They outshoot Vegas 39-27, but... They get goalie just a bit here for a change, and it's a 5-4 shootout win for the Golden Knights. And that's it for NHL regular season recap. Night 60, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I think just four games for Night 61. We'll talk to you then.